heavy lunch is no encouragement for creativity. And with sunny weather and so many delicious fruits in season, summer is made for energizing our fresco lunches. Mela Celebrity Chef is always brimming with great ideas and Yudhika is here with a delicious fish and fruit combo. Today I'm celebrating an Indian summer. Long hot days and lazy afternoons. It's definitely not curry weather. I'm thinking light meals and luscious fruits. On my menu, we have spicy fish cakes, watermelon salad and a mango fool. Now the ingredients for the fish cakes are, we've got some mashed potato, some flaked fish, spring onion, carom seeds or ajwain, green chili, garlic, coriander, egg yolk to bind the ingredients, some egg wash, flour, We've got some crumbs and sunflower oil. Now, let's get started. So we've got the mashed potato in a bowl. And this is a really simple recipe. In goes the flaked fish. Then spring onion. It's just finely chopped. Some carom seeds or ajwine. Now this you could also use some cumin seeds. Green chili. Coriander. egg yolk, season with some salt, and then black pepper. I'm using freshly ground black pepper for this. Now let's mash these ingredients together. It should form almost a soft dough. Garlic goes really well with fish and with potatoes. So a generous glug of garlic going in. I'm using hake this time. You can use king clip or even some salmon as well. This is now ready. We're going to mold these into patties. Now I've just got a baking tray and I've put some baking paper on top. Grab a scoop of this mixture and just lightly work them into little patties. It's really quite an easy mixture to work with. In it goes into the flour and just lightly dust it. Shake off the excess. and leave it on a baking tray. Now I don't enjoy being in the kitchen on long hot summer days. I'm going to bake these off in an oven and not deep fry them. Now baking these in the oven's a much healthier option than frying them. And also it saves on the tidying up. Now these need to go into a refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour to firm up. These have firmed up beautifully. Let's crumb these into the egg and just flip them over and just lightly scoop those crumbs over. Now place these on a greased baking tray. I quite like the crunch of the crumbs. They also look really pretty with those golden crumbs. Now the last one. Preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius. These are going to bake for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, a little oil going over these. Pop these into the oven. Let's get started on the watermelon salad. We've got some sliced watermelon, about 600 grams here. And this is really an easy salad. Let's season it with salt. Next in goes the feta cheese. So about 120 grams of feta going in. Lemon juice going in. Fresh coriander. Now some flaked almonds. I love the crunch that this adds to the salad. Now some olive oil going in. Just a drizzle. Garnish with some mint leaves and we're ready to go. Oil going on top. That's the salad done. Let's get started with the mango fool. The ingredients are mango, we've got some whipped cream, yogurt, sugar and some fresh mint as well. We're going to blitz this with some fresh lemon. Now the first thing going into the blender, the mango. Now the mango you can see it's really very soft, almost overripe. They work particularly well. So just spoon that into the blender. I always say make sure your blender's clean and it doesn't smell like any ginger or garlic or anything like that. 
this goes in. I'm going to stand up on tippy toes. A fool doesn't sound like an interesting name for a dessert, but it's made with any fruit puree. Even lychee, pineapple, they all work beautifully. It's light, it's summery, it's creamy, everything you need in a dessert. Lid goes on. And now let's get some lemon juice in. You can also use lime juice. I couldn't find any fresh lime today, so I'm just using lemon. Now mangoes are really sweet. You could add some sugar in here. I'm adding just a touch. Lid goes back on. Now if you're using stringy mangoes, you can pass them through a sieve and make sure they're smooth to get rid of any of those fibers. Let's save some of this cream for later for garnishing. Just a few scoops going in. Now, pour the puree into the cream. I've whipped this cream already with some sugar. Just gently fold the cream through with the mango puree. Now this should be served chilled. I suggest making them in advance and just leaving them in the refrigerator. Now some glasses. I'm going to use these. Now scoop some of that Greek yogurt into the base of the glass. I'd say this makes about four to six. Let's scoop this into the glasses as well. A little blob of cream going in. I'm using double thick cream. It's really, really very thick. Blob of cream going on top. Garnish with some mint. And that's my quick, easy mango full. Let's check on the fish cakes. Those look superb. Beautiful, golden, and cooked to perfection. These fish cakes look delicious. I'm going to serve them with the raita. This is the perfect feast for an Indian summer. I've got the fish cakes, the watermelon salad, and to finish up, those delicious mango fools.